Coming up this midday, the first day of school right around the corner. The plan for students and faculty returning to the classroom. And are booster shots necessary for those who are fully vaccinated? As soon as they come back in the state of Texas, they will be arrested. They will be cabined inside the Texas Capitol until they get their job done. Determined to kill the voting bill, Democrats from the Texas House of Representatives left Texas for Washington, D.C. And now there are not enough members at the state capitol to conduct business. Democrats plan to stay away until the special session ends on August 17th. Schools are preparing for students and staff to return to the classroom this fall. Good morning, I'm Joey Horta. Right now, around 60% of Americans are fully vaccinated. Caldwell ISD teacher Cody Knott is one of them. He believes that if people are vaccinated, everyone should be safe without wearing a mask in the classroom. In the end, um, it's going to make for um, a better learning you know, experience because we're, we're going to be in, in the classroom together and you, you can't beat that. Right now, around 50% of Texans are vaccinated. The federal guidance on vaccine boosters is not expected to change. The CDC and FDA both say that no one who is fully vaccinated actually needs to get a booster shot. The CDC and the FDA said that based on the data that we know right now, we don't need a booster. That doesn't mean that that won't change. Pfizer's working on a booster shot now and they plan to apply for FDA emergency authorization next month. Today, cases are on the rise in 45 states. Average new daily COVID-19 infections up 47%. Doctors say the people who end up in the hospital are often younger and unvaccinated. The lower a state's vaccination rate is, the higher the case count. Josh Johns is here now with a look at your forecast. Yeah, and we're talking about the chance at least for a stray shower or thunderstorm later on this afternoon. But right now things are dry as you look at the satellite and radar combination there. You see a few of those partly cloudy skies currently. A lot of moisture still streaming in from the Gulf, and that's what we'll have to watch. These little sea breeze showers that may start to work in later on this afternoon. Right now, though, we're talking about temperatures that are in the low 80s, feeling closer to 90 degrees, 81 in Bryan and 82 in College Station, but feeling like 89 to 90 and winds are on the calm side currently. That'll change once the sea breeze arrives this afternoon. Future Track shows you that small chance of rain again this afternoon. We'll be dry overnight and then do it again tomorrow afternoon, although tomorrow afternoon looks like it could be on the drier side, so something we will be watching there. Today's highs get into the upper 80s and lower 90s. Normally should be around 95 this time of year. Our record of 105 back in 1901, and then tonight those lows dip down into the lower 70s, and we're going to be talking about a drier day from here on out, or a drier week rather from here on out. We'll have a 20% chance of rain today and a 20% chance of rain coming up tomorrow and on Thursday all the way through the rest of the week for the most part. We'll have the chance at least for an afternoon shower or thunderstorm with that sea breeze. Temperatures stay in the low 90s with over